equation we're going to look at is where there's just one term and there we have it, sorry, one term and one unknown on one side. The way to solve this type of equation is to say to yourself, self, the opposite of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. So I'm going to divide this side by 5, but whatever you do to one side of an equation, you must do to another. These two 5's here cancel. And that just leaves you with x equals 30 divided by 5, which is 6. Now, if we had this sort of a question, then it's the same idea. We have one term on one side. Uh, this time, you say to yourself, x has been divided by 7, so the opposite of dividing by 7 is multiplying by 7. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Here, the two 7s cancel. And again, you're just left with x on the left-hand side, sorry, and 3 times 7, or 21 on the right-hand side. That's the times there. The last type of question you have like this is, what happens if you have something like this? where you have a fraction times x. Okay. Now this could also be written as 5 6 x equals 25. So there's another way of writing the same question. Again, you look for the opposites. x has been divided by 6, so the opposite is multiplying by 6. x has been multiplied by 5, so the opposite is dividing by 5. But if I do 6 over 5 multiplied by the left side, I have to do 6 over 5 multiplied by the right side. Now we can go wild with the cancelling. 6 cancels 6, 5 cancels 5, and we are left here with x all by itself on the left hand side. 5 into 25 goes 5, and 5 times 6 is 30. So you get x is equal to 30. Let's get into the habit right from the very beginning of taking all of our equations and putting a box around the answer when we are through. So that's the end of lesson one.